Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I explain how to automatically clear Chrome browsing history, on exit, for domain users, by creating a GPO and applying it, to domain users. If you are managing a domain, and want to simplify your browser data management, this video is perfect for you. From the client computer, open Google Chrome browser, and at the top click on the three dots, and from the menu, select history. By default, history data is saved for Chrome, and you can delete, or remove the history manually, but if you want to do it automatically, through group policy, you can do so and they will explain to you, how to configure it step by step, and apply it to domain users. Go to the domain server, to learn how to do this step by step. Open the server manager dashboard. From there, click on the tools menu, at the top of the page, and from the menu, click on group policy management. Then, click to expand the forest on the left, and select the domain on which you will create the policy, then right click on the organizational unit, on which you want to apply the policy, and select create a GPO in this domain, and link it here. In the NUPO window, enter an appropriate name, for this policy. This name will make it easier for you, to access the policy quickly. Then click on the OK button. Then, right click on the GPO that was just created, and from the menu select edit. This will open group policy management editor window, so you can configure the policy correctly. Then expand the folders, on the left to open the path that appears, in front of, you on the screen. And they will leave the path, in the video description. You must also import administrative templates, from Google. So that you can configure this policy. I will leave you in the video description a link, to a video on my channel, that explains how to import Google administrative templates, into group policy. I advise you to watch this video, so that you can add Google administrative templates, into group policy. After opening the path, go to the other side of the available policies, and search for the policy called, clear browsing data on exit, and double click on it to open it. Select the enabled option, so that this policy is enabled. And when reading the description of this policy, you will find a list of the types of browsing data, that should be deleted when the user closes all browser windows. And to remove the browsing history, you must use browsing underscore history. And when you want to delete the download history, use download underscore history. You will find a sufficient explanation, that you can use as you want. Then click on the show button. Enter browsing underscore history, because we want to remove the browsing history when the user closes the browser, and click on the OK button. Then click on Apply and the OK button, and you can now close all open windows, and they will open the client's computer again, to verify that the new policy is applied, to users. From the client computer, open the command prompt window, and enter the update group policy command, so that the policy is applied, to the user after updating the group policy. If you do not want to update the group policy, in this way, you can restart the computer. After that, open the Chrome browser, click on the three dots, and from the menu, click on the history. Now you will find that the history, is still saved. Close the browser now, and open the Chrome browser again. When you open the browsing history page, now you will find that there is no history saved. Also at the bottom, you will find a message, stating that the browser is managed by your organization, which means that the browser is now managed, by the group policy. Finally, if this policy is set at the platform level, you must disable synchronization at the platform level. If this policy is set at the user level, you must disable synchronization, for this user, for this policy to take effect. This note is very important. In this way you can maintain, and enhance the privacy of the users of the domain, for more tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments what other tutorials, you'd like to see, and if you found this video useful, don't forget to press the like button, and subscribe, thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.